We are helping raise awareness about breast cancer and sharing stories from those impacted by the disease. First, we start with a group of women in Champaign County. They're called the Prairie Dragon Paddlers, a team of people who've had or have had breast cancer. WCIE3's Amanda Brennan is with us. You met with a few of its members. And they tell me that joining the group was just a blessing. It's something that's changed their lives. And through the team, they're meeting people who understand the journey better than anyone. And that's because they've all been in each other's shoes. I was 52 and about eight months after I went through a kidney transplant, um, my oldest son was my donor. I got the diagnosis that I had breast cancer. Words Donna Campbell was never expecting to hear. That was uh, a mind blower. The Clinton woman had ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS. It was contained inside of the milk duct. The National Library of Medicine says this type of breast cancer accounts for 20 to 25 percent of diagnoses. Best path was um, what they call a lumpectomy, where they just go in and remove it, or a partial mastectomy. And then, so we did that, and I had it followed up with 34 sessions of radiation. For five years, Campbell was doing mammograms every six months, but she says the timing couldn't have been better. And I say that because if I would have got the cancer diagnosis before my transplant, I would not have been able to do the transplant. Campbell eventually connected with the Prairie Dragon Paddlers group. But when you get out in that boat and you get on the lake, there's just this calmness that comes over you. It's a team that's experienced breast cancer in different ways. I didn't know what I was missing until I joined this team. Throughout the spring and summer, the group practices at Homer Lake and competes near and far. That's how Campbell met Stephanie Harpst. My doctor asked me about a lump that she had found in my left breast. So I, you know, it's one of those things, well, we just need to get it checked out. I'm sure it's nothing. It ended up being breast cancer. The Champagne woman went through seven surgeries and many rounds of chemotherapy over two years. I had to now focus on myself and my healing and, you know, hopeful that I would be a survivor like I am, so 17 years and counting. The two of them are leaning on paddling to keep them connected to others with similar experiences. And you know everyone in that boat has heard those four words. And it's not four words you ever want to hear. But they're the ones that have created bonds and friendships to last a lifetime. Just a lot of um, admiration for each other and so makes you feel wanted and there's that, that mental health issue where it brought me out of the depression because all of a sudden I had things I could do and look forward to. Prairie Dragon Paddlers has competed around the world just recently in New Zealand in the spring. The group also raises money toward breast cancer research at the Cancer Center at Illinois over on the U of I campus. For more details, you can check out their website and social media pages. We'll have a link to both of those at WCIA.com. Back to you. All right, Amanda, thank you.